We're doing a little testing right now. So what I have connected is real simple here. There's my ZVS. There's my flyback. And they're connected all up. My motors are running fairly slow. Here's what my motor speeds are right now or my what I'm putting into them. This is my upper one right here. 7.08 bottom one 13.3 and I did separate them for this test because I'm noticing something that's going on here now I do have my Tesla coil hooked up right now and we are looking at 15.2 on that right now so there's nothing really going on okay so let's see if we can get our Tesla coil spark up a little bit and there it is, pretty clear Tesla coil is on, so you can see that. Now I want you to focus in right here. That's my high voltage, it's on. Now, I'm gonna turn my Tesla coil up, and I'm gonna get it right in the range of 30 volts to go in. See that right there? That little bit of sparkage is going on right there now. The Tesla coil is interacting with my high voltage coil. Now I don't have anything connected to anything. There are no wires here that are touching the frame. Don't know if it's leakage from the white wire there. I doubt it. But it's the Tesla coil frame to the Tesla coil to the frame itself. So we're definitely on there. We're definitely on there. So, what are we getting right there? That little bit. You can't see a whole lot, but it's right there. It just sparks over now. So, we're, we definitely have a connection when the Tesla coil gets that high to go over. And I'll just show you here. I got the wire in there. And there's absolutely no spark over because I'm not running it at a real excessive rate like I was before. So I just want to show you that it's having an effect not only on the center plate, it's having an effect on the top and bottom disc as well. Let's see if we can get a picture. Yeah, it's right there. So let's see if I can get this without getting myself zapped here. It. Every once in a while, now it's sparking over. It wasn't doing that before. Watch, I'll turn off the testicle. It'll stop. Okay, my testicle is now at 19. I got no spark over. Go back up to the top. Nope, nothing there. So, we definitely have a connection between our Tesla coil and the upper and bottom plate along with the center plate when you go too high on the Tesla coil itself. Again, I like to run it at about 25. 30, I'm starting to affect the uh, high voltage circuit now. So, nothing's interconnected here. Yeah, it looks like a mess of wires, but I, I pulled everything off of this because I, I burned out two motors and I wasn't going to do it again, so I just want the wires to be pull aside that's about it just a little bit of an update on testing uh, so far I'm just trying to get the motors in sync and then get the Tesla coil to work with that see if I can't get that sound but that's it for now I just want to show you that